In this video, I'll explain to you the difference between organizational unit and access group of Google Workspace. First of all, what is an organizational unit? An organizational unit, OU in short, is simply a group that an administrator can create in the Google Workspace console to apply settings to a specific set of users. If you are an admin at a decently sized domain, you may need to have several organizational units set up within your Google Workspace account. Visually, OU is quite similar to your actual business organizational structures. I'll explain it to you with example in a moment. As mentioned earlier, the OU determines which service a department may access and which services are off limits. If you set up your user accounts in the related organization units, you can turn a service on or off and force policy by the department. In this example, you can clearly see the OU is very similar to your business or school organizational structure. The admin plays all the teacher's accounts in the teacher's OU. This way, he can switch on or off the services to all the teachers without affecting the other part of the organization. By default, the child OU inherits the setting from the parent. For example, if the admin switch on or off the service at the staff OU, the management and the teacher's OUs will inherit the setting from the staff OU by default. Although each child inherits the setting from its parents, the settings can be customized. The important thing I want to highlight is that changing a setting at a higher level changes the setting for all the sub-organization inherit that setting. However, custom settings remain unchanged. Therefore, the admin should always check the effectiveness of higher level policy towards the child or you. What is an access group? Access group lets you control access from specific user without changing your organizational structures. You can turn on services for a group of users rather than entire organizational units. I'll explain to you with a few examples. Originally, Google Workspace started as the access can only be configured at the organizational unit level. In 2018, Google introduced Access Group to make it possible to control access by other organizational elements. Access Group is useful when you need to turn on service or off the users across or within the department. Without moving out the user from the OU, you just need to put their accounts to Access Group to control access. As shown here, a user can only belong to a single OU at a time. However, users from different OU can belong a group or users can belong to multiple user groups. In this case, a teacher belongs to a teacher's OU, while that teacher can be in the chess group, charity group, photography group. That's a good example of how users can associate across or within OUs by taking advantage of access group. Therefore, this type of communication requires users to get customized services. As mentioned earlier, in Google Workspace, you can turn on services for a group of users rather than an entire organizational unit. This allows you to control specific users without changing your organizational structures. For example, you can let a group approve YouTube video or team share drive files across or within the department, even with the people outside of your organization. In this example, Google Drive is turned on for the staff OU, while it is turned off for the student OU. The student from Literature Group and Photography Group require access to Google Drive, so admin can easily turn on these groups. Group can introduce users from outside the domain. This means group can include any users in your account. With group, you can customize service settings a group of users. For example, you can let parents who are outside of the school domain to see drive files, in this case, student assignment results. This is a comparison table about groups and organizational units. You can have the links in the description below. 
And if you want to know farther, here are the links. You can have it all the links in the descriptions. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe.